Vanilla. This bitch. Smoking out the window. Bitch got be paying her rent. Buying all this stuff and you're all alone. <laughs> Smoking out the window. That's what I had heard. That's what I had heard, okay? And I really don't know who this for, but that's what I heard, okay? Yeah, I was uh, doing the same thing a few minutes ago, so it's literally that, okay? I don't know if you're driving, smoking out the window, if you at the crib, smoking out the window, and you're back, I don't know where you're at, but you're, you're smoking out the window thinking about this bitch, <laughs> okay? Like, this bitch could be good, bad, I don't know. That's what I heard, collective, all right? Meanwhile... Welcome to One Message in a Bottle Tarot. My name is One. Turn me up. Turn me up on the mic. Boom, boom. Turn me up. Boom. Yeah. I just heard four page letter by Aaliyah. Mama always oh, told me. Okay. It's a vibe. Okay. So that's that must be the feminine energy. Okay. Or somebody's thinking about writing a letter or something like that. Four pages long. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's why you're smoking out the window. Anyway, welcome to One Message in a Bottle Tarot. My name is One, and I am your spiritual advisor. Uh, hello, thank you, welcome back. To all my beautiful messengers all around the world in your respective places, wherever you are, thank you for everything that you do. Uh, liking my video, sharing my content, connecting with me in the comments, leaving your video. Rest. All the love donations, the tips, if you want to do that, all the information is below. Thank you, thank you, and especially hallelujah to those uh, that support me on Patreon the long way for those monthly uh, love donations. Uh, if you're new here, you're welcome to stay, join the gang. Definitely love to have you here, so feel free to subscribe if you like. You want to show love up front, uh, give me a thumbs up, especially the thumbs up, okay? Because... <sighs> You know, we get into all kind of stuff on this channel, and you know, it's, it's a big machine out there. They don't even want the truth to come out, so I at least do that for your good sis, okay? Just get, it don't hurt you, just thumbs up, okay? All right. Smoking out the window. Let's see uh, what this is. Okay, I ain't had no sleep in, uh, so whoever this is, I don't know, uh, okay? Uh, I'm, uh, you might be somewhere like, I wish this motherfucker go to sleep, but they feel like that about you, okay? <laughs> Like, this motherfucker don't get tired. Somebody don't get tired. Okay? Maybe that's why they smoking out the window or you smoking out the window. You're like, Lord, when somebody go to sleep, that's the most peaceful time on earth when they shut up, when they silence. Okay? Silence in the building. All right? Well, I get my feelings. Okay? Somebody don't even get a moment to themselves. Okay? That's why you smoking out the window. All right, I'm gonna try a different spread. Uh, I got inspired sauce. So I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna go, but we gonna see. All right, let's have some fun. So, what is this uh, energy? This is your channel song, collective, uh, literally. And then I have it on loop, so this is the only song that you're gonna hear. So something is a cycle. <laughs> okay, you just, uh, uh, yeah. Some about some rent. Some about some kids. Some about buying somebody. Some. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Somebody fighting first and foremost. Period. <laughs> okay. I don't know what y'all fighting over, but hands or being thrown uh, from a couple people. And this is uh, messy and this is sloppy and this is out in the open and this is everybody can see it. Okay. Is everybody in the household? Okay. Uh, yeah. Somebody don't. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let me do the whole thing and then we'll get into it. We'll, but know that that is the overall, that's the primary energy leading into it, okay? 
Somebody got hands. All right, that's when we start calling it five of swords. Uh, they're lethal with their words too. Okay, uh, really cut you down. Like uh, they don't care. They they'll say whatever just to uh, win. Uh, win the uh, argument, fight, dispute, or whatever. Okay. They like to be the last person standing at any cost and willing to sacrifice uh, anything, okay? Let me get them all here. Give me about give me a minute. I gotta do this spread. This is a new thing. First time, so bear with me. Else. Somebody owes some child support. Somebody taking their time on playing or playing games about it or something. Okay. Queen of Wands. Somebody want a chance? Uh -huh. How's that? Okay. Sorry, guys. Two more. Justice in reverse. Somebody is hanging on for dear life. <laughs> okay. One more. <sighs> Ace of Cups here. Um, I feel like someone is in a situation where they're badass kids running around the whole crib. Yeah, I feel like somebody's playing games in, in court or something about some children or maybe taking care of some children or something like that. Or uh, maybe you... uh owe them something like uh i don't know there's a, a offer here there's also an offer here that is like a, uh it's long overdue it's something that's long overdue okay I feel like somebody has abandoned their marriage here and then, but like the other person is trying to save it. What? I feel like the method in which somebody is fighting for something is what's causing, uh, it's doing more harm, uh, than the good if that makes sense but this person feels like their methods are right because uh, if the end result is uh i hold on to this i keep on to you uh this is uh this is how passionate they are about this person uh this is how passionate but they're fighting it in like such a a, a ruthless game okay um definitely uh money uh manipulation here Okay, or breadcrumbing uh, somebody to kind of keep them still, to kind of keep them uh, in a place to probably, uh, to possibly like block them uh, from leaving, okay, or ending a relationship here. But they feel like this person like feels like they're doing this all in the name of love here. For some of you who got left uh, are abandoned in a relationship because your partner sought people outside of it. Um, I feel like you have had a glow up here. All right. Um, feminine energy. Uh, definitely. Um, maybe you let whoever do whatever and you got with your friends and your girlfriend's like, oh, you need to get your mo mojo back. You need to get, you know, uh, fuck him. Let he do, you know, let that person do what they need to do. Uh, go ahead and walk away. And now somebody's spinning the block and trying to, uh, they, they want to come back, uh, here 
after leaving you hanging. Uh, they're trying to create like a, a, a like a standstill here. What is this five of swords? Nine of Cups in reverse, and somebody is super, super indulging, uh, super, super overindulging. Uh, but I feel like not only uh, <laughs> somebody could definitely be an alcoholic or overindulging in alcohol here, and when they uh, get drunk on alcohol. Um, uh, they're like a whole different person. They, they turn everything and tear up, uh, everything, everything is turned upside down. They get really, they're angry drunk here. here. Okay. There are possibly children, uh, witnessing this. Tell me about this page of cups here. King of cups. Title card, yeah, this is definitely, um, yeah, somebody's doing something funny with some money or holding up some money and offering a connection. Oh, so uh, the, the huge fight is, and I feel like both of these people have a, a, a Addictive or when they just become angry, they just become a uh, violent just uh, People okay um, But somebody is definitely an angry drunk here um, And I feel it's a situation where kids are being used or kids are being uh, uh, Like almost for ransom uh, a, a lot of emotional Manipulation here with children and because uh, it's like uh, two can play at that game type of energy somebody is playing games with like um money or provisions this is uh definitely a connection here because i have the two of cups um and the uh, lovers card here maybe one person feels this person is leaving them to go to a divine connection here and so they're playing games with the children and because one person's playing games with the children the other person's playing games uh with the money all right this is a legal, this is a separation here. So somebody, yeah, somebody's trying to hold somebody up in court here. Okay. This could be like, uh, yeah, child support, divorce proceedings or whatever. Okay. The kids are watching this, so. There's a secret here. What's this no card? Strong water sign for the uh, addictions. Uh, angry drunk possibly. Okay. What's this no card? Yeah, somebody calls somebody a bitch a lot, and they talk about uh, what they do for them and, and all of this, and that's kind of the energy, like, I do all this for you, and uh, what's the secret about this? Yeah. Somebody's holding up proceedings because they're worried about being, uh, it could, and it could be your person here, a uh, collective, Queen of Swords, uh, Six of Wands here. All right. Somebody feels like someone uh, has affections for someone. Okay. This is two different feminine energies here. There's a queen of wands here, highly desired. Someone feels like they're being uh, left here. So they're trying to stall. Because uh, they don't want somebody to get to this ace of cups here. 
Because I'm a bitch, right? Yeah. yeah. I feel like uh, you here, collective, you you know this. You know there's some type of power struggle going on. I don't know. I mean, it's giving heavy third-party energy. The, love, the lover's card is here. All right. Someone's coming together. But in order for someone to come together, someone has to get left. I feel like this is you here with the two of wands, four of cups, wondering like, you know what? I think I'm going to just collect my things and go because is this thing? Are they coming? <laughs> OK, like and he, uh, yo, masculine, your personal or whoever they uh, you don't even, don't even know they're on the other side smoking like this bitch like it's a lot it's chaos <laughs> okay it's it's chaos over there okay it's a lot of uh crazy shit going on a lot of mental mind games and uh the kids is caught up uh in it i feel like even the babies be like lord daddy just you know i don't know i feel like the 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 you the masculine i don't know you might be getting extra love or attention or adoration for your kids uh you can't see everything they hear every fucking thing okay so if you have a kid that's like really clingy and really you know what i mean this is affecting them in particular they might try to offer you more love or or be up under you and say no i want to go i want to you just like why are you clinging on to me like that that's that's that angelic protection uh energy you need that right now you need to cling to that and embrace that because uh you know i feel like if there's this five of swords which is fighting and low blows and saying all kind of crazy shit and then they're drunk and ain't like the kids trying to keep you calm that's why they're you know what i mean so it's something about your uh energy here okay um it's for a reason that's something that you need to cling uh, to strong water energy here but yeah, um, cross watcher collective, uh, this is you sitting here like, well, you know, uh, you know, this is coming here, but you feel like this is probably a waste of time. I probably just need to, uh, collect my things and kind of, uh, move on. And somebody, uh, this water sign is worried about you move, moving on or also losing an opportunity because you probably have, look at you, you got your phone here, look at through your DMs right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, love is on the table overall here, uh, collective period. All right. Strong water up in his water is fire. You know, if you're a fire sign, you fine as hell, but you're doing your thing. Okay. Uh, for some of you, uh, sis, I don't know who you are. You a real queen. You a queen to be coming to America. Yeah, this is you right here. This is you right here. If you got, I feel like you got two strong suitors and the same thing is going on in, in, uh, both situations possibly here. But I feel like this is you. Uh, the, the, this is the other feminine here. Um, this queen of wands. But I also feel like you're embodying, uh, this energy. Someone is, terrified of missing an opportunity to you and i feel their person knows that they secretly you know that's why this person this uh queen of swords energy is putting up uh basically being a bitch you know what i mean uh basically trying to put up ops to stop you uh or to stop your person from moving forward because uh they know that you are esteemed in their eyes they know that this person has a secret effects in this oh yeah that's what this is I keep hearing the steps, baby, in the dark. Yeah, that's what that, I'm going to call it from now on, footsteps in the dark. Yeah, she's like, I know, I know, I know. This her right here, look at it. <laughs> that's their person right like I know you know what I mean and I know about them other ones and I, I seen them and she's not even worried about uh, whoever these little side pieces are is this one uh, the one that stays in the back of his mind here the one that she knows has his affections like you are their person's like worst uh, nightmare you know uh, period <laughs> okay just like no I can't like she knows this okay or they know this okay so they're doing everything they can. Yes. Yes. Uh, they per that, Their person hates you. <laughs> Period. Okay. Uh, they do not want to let go. Okay. Of this person or their resources. They're making it impossible for your person to be released. Especially if they are in a marriage or some kind. Again, child support, whatever. Is this person is determined. Whatever I need to do to hold on to them. Hell, even if it kills me. 
him, the whole family, everybody like, fuck that, like, yeah, yeah, uh, I'm staying, okay, period, I won't go, uh, hell no, I won't go, all like, uh, no, at all, uh, everything is fine, like, no, um, okay, that's their agenda here, whatever they gotta do, again, there's a page of swords here, you got a page of cups, page of swords here, all right, this is a spy uh, energy looking for any way to uh, uh, betray. This person also feels betrayed. Okay, their person. All right. They're spying, okay, thinking of any way that they could uh, not only block this connection, but how they could, uh, they want their lit back, <laughs> okay, period, all right, and uh, especially if this is you, because they're looking for any way to send you a negative energy here, but also within this household, and this is, I feel, I'm hearing like no contact, if you haven't really been in contact with your person, you'd be like, damn, where they... You holding the phone like, damn, where, where he at? This ain't even like him. I ain't even heard from him. And, you know, maybe I should just, is all this bullshit in the background here. All right. But look at what's on the table. Real love here. Why are you doing this to me? Yeah, I feel like it's, it's one kid that clings to one person and then maybe in that this is a multiple kid household that clings to the other. But uh, And they may even be poisoning the children against uh, your person here, all right? Um, making it uh, burdensome for them or making the children feel like, you know, somebody does too much talking uh, around their children, okay? Somebody is actively poisoning the children against the uh other person here, strong air sign energy here. Okay. Even if he does end up with you, I feel like, uh, you know, the, the, the kids will be told, like, oh, well, this person, they ruined our family, blah, blah, blah. They made it hard for uh, daddy to be here. Did anything that creates a burden, anything that makes this, anything that makes the other. So I don't know who it is. It, it could be your person or their person, the masculine or the feminine, but somebody talks crazy around the kids. Anything to make this person uh, look bad, okay, to create a burden, to make, to paint this person in a, a bad uh, light here. Yeah. It's uh, 10 of swords, 10 on, on the 10 on the 10. Somebody wants somebody uh, dead here also, period. She said, I ain't going nowhere. What you talking about? I ain't going nowhere. You stuck with me. Okay? You stuck with me. Alright? That's how they feel. I, I, I picked up on this person before here. What is this? Uh, what is this? Uh, two of Cups and this Queen of Wands here. Yeah, definitely a family here. Somebody is threatening themselves. Somebody is threatening you. Somebody is like, it's like, we, I will take all, everything, like, no. Like, no. This person has some really dark thoughts when it comes to uh, this masculine or your person leaving or, or, or whatever, okay? They know they want to uh, form something or build a new life with you. They don't want that to happen at all, even if that means everybody fucking got to go. And that's really, that's some sick shit here. Uh, hermit card. All this is going on behind the scenes. This is why you have no contact. You probably don't hear from them. Okay, they leave you. They they ghost you. They leave you like uh this that this is why. Okay, and there's a strong uh fight over money here. What's this? Uh, lovers with justice in reverse. Yeah, somebody's trying to keep, keep all of this from going public also, okay? They don't want you to know about it, okay? They might not be on social media as much as they were. Justice in reverse. Emperor, yeah, it's a pissing contest. It's a battle of wills here. Okay, especially if your person is a, a entrepreneur or somebody owns a business, there's like a 
assets or something here it has to be uh divided okay I feel like somebody's trying to go about it in a matter of fact way but somebody else is being manipulative and playing games here what's this ace of cups King of Wands here. Yeah. They distraught. I feel like you also have a uh you also have a decision to make. Like it's it's definitely uh two uh masculine energies here a strong fire sign okay one is definitely uh possibly a business owner they're very passionate about you i feel like they may even want to marry you propose like get out of one thing and come to another but uh this person back home is raising hell raising hell okay this person is putting in work all the time to make sure this does not fucking happen with both of you. Uh, period here. Literally trying to change fate. All right. It's a lot of crazy shit going on in the household. But this, I feel like this person or your person is desperately trying to get out of this and, and come to you. It, probably even directly to, to, to your house. All right. And the other person's like, no, I will burn all this shit down before I let you come to this uh, person here. Like, no. It's like, I was here first. You're not going to juggle me and her. You're not going to go leave me, marry her, have kids with her, build with her, have a business with her, love her, fuck, uh, fuck them or whatever. I'm not going to watch you go give them, you know, your love or watch you love on them or anything like that. I'm not going to watch it. Yeah, this is ring the alarm. Uh, I'd be damned if another bitch on your arm, a tower card devil, like somebody is, uh, somebody is mentally unfucking stable here and, uh, really dark and demonic to the lens they will go to, to make sure this person does not come to you at all. Okay. This person again could be very wealthy, have a lot of money or whatever, but that, I mean, this is like, this is their house right now. This is their relationship right now. This is the energy right now that this uh, feminine is bringing towards them. But I also feel like she's sending that energy towards your life too. Uh, death energy. Uh, ten of, uh, er yeah, the death card is here. Ten of wands. A burden. Uh, all of that. Like, no. Like, no. You got me. Like, no. I'm not going to watch you build with another. I will tear. I will burn all this shit down, basically. Uh, and I guess that's why you smoking out the window here. All right. Feminine, this may be affecting uh, you, all this dark energy that's surrounding your person. Because again, if the, with this twin flame uh, energy here, you may have a soul tie. All right. You might be having some sleepless nights or whatever. I do feel like you talk to your person. Um, maybe in the 5D. What's this Ace of Swords? Yeah, you know, you know intuitively what's going on here. This person may have been with this, yeah. This is about to, this money. Somebody playing with money and somebody playing with kids. All right, somebody like, I'm going to take you for everything that you got. I'm a, you know, like the only way you're getting up out this motherfucker is you're going to have to give me everything. I feel like this person also knows uh, some secrets or something like that. You know, it's like, uh, if you're going to leave, this is how you're going to go with uh shit and even even then i'm still burning this you know what i mean like somebody is determined to destroy somebody simply because uh the partnership the marriage the whatever is you know isn't working and it isn't working because there's a divine destined uh spiritual actual connection here just because you marry somebody doesn't necessarily you know what i mean like you marry people for different reasons but you know, you any day you could wake up and really meet your person. You know what I mean? And I'm talking about this is for the people that they actually go through the full transition. And then, you know what I mean? Like, not some like bullshit or whatever. But it just happens that 
you know, your person woke up first. Hell, it could have been, uh, you know, their wife. It could have been her, but it wasn't. It was him. You see what I'm saying? And so it's just like, well, damn, uh, what if it was you first? Then what would you do? You know what I mean? I guess you could expect the same kind of hell being raised. So I get it, but yeah this why they smoking out the window uh shit just like uh if i gotta fuck up uh everybody here but you know with the tower and all that comes a new beginning new energy here all right i feel like uh all your person does is think about uh a new beginning uh that's the only thing why they smoking out the window uh looking at the stars or so somebody know uh that you daydream about them somebody also uh here is definitely if they're involved in the dark arts or witchcraft or even just in it, it, she was deaf so if you could just if you're thinking about uh bitch diving all day then that's what that's what it is even that's energy okay but somebody is i see moon magic spells all that shit over here like somebody is really uh, demonic i don't know where they from okay wherever they from though they do that shit there uh period and she this person is relentless and sending out uh this energy they may send out this work towards your house okay creating uh, anything that they can do to create strife and burden here with this three of swords all right you see this magician card their whole objective is to end you is to dead you baby they know this person uh, loves you. They know this person uh, wants to be with you, desires you, holds you in esteem. So they put in, you got me working, working day and night. Dun, 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 calling on uh, whoever. They calling on and sending this uh, energy uh, your way. And they're also doing this within the household. They're doing magic to make sure that the marriage stays together, that this person stays there uh, trapped. This person is obsessed <laughs> with this, okay? And if it doesn't work, then uh, everybody got to die. That's basically what this is. This is some dark shit, but yes, okay? Period. All right, and I feel like uh, this person uh, comes to you when you can. I don't know if y'all have a, a sexual relationship or whatever, <laughs> okay? But I feel like you're just trying to heal from it all or or just heal from the fact that this person pops in and out of your life. You know, you can't keep running. Uh, who sings that song? Can't keep running in and out of my life. Yeah, this is you. Some of you have a hard time sleeping. I also feel like you have a hard time sleeping because, uh, especially if it's this air energy, is constantly sending this uh, work to you, you know, uh, this negative uh, energy here. All right. But also, I feel like you're just uh, trying to heal. Uh, from this I feel like you're uh, definitely thinking about cutting this off you're tired of the back and forth here uh, and just feeling like you know what I think I'm gonna just uh, you know uh, cut my losses here yeah cut my losses here you know it's not you you feel like it's a losing investment love is a losing yeah love is a losing game uh, I heard I'm hearing Amy Winehouse it's a losing game yeah that you like fucking i'ma just uh chalk out the deuces or whatever but i felt like this person has either ghosted you or again when they see you is is very briefly or whatever and then they out you like you know what it's not worth all of that and i feel like you know that this person not only got uh whoever their person is but they they give them all you like you know what am well, what the fuck am i doing here for so you just like you know what i'm gonna do her have them like fuck it and ain't even you know what I mean? <laughs> like worth it but again uh someone is uh, obsessed with their partner uh, losing everything uh, their partner turning their back on their relationship and you know their their worst nightmare is having to look up to you having you in the position that they were in you know uh you running the uh, bank you running the bank accounts and all of that stuff and you know you or who they were and now you know so they're like oh this bitch gonna be telling me how much you gonna be giving me and the kids and whatever 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 i be not you know what i mean like this is they live in some this it's in their fucking head i'm telling you this person is delusional they uh up at night just losing their fucking mind worrying about how, how you, i don't even feel like you like that uh every uh your whole energy is very uh zen here look at you right there you're like i feel like you're just minding your own business uh doing your own thing here i feel like you intuitively know but you don't say shit you know what i mean here well because the high priestess knows a lot but don't say nothing you may intuitively uh know why this person is going out uh 
uh, ghosting you and coming in and out, but I feel like you're you're tired. You're just like, you know what? Fuck it. I ain't even like, I know that's my person. They know that they're my person, blah, blah, blah. But I, you know, let me just uh, get in my own, get in my, uh, stay in my lane and do what I need to do over here. He'll get over this because the energy is draining for you, okay? But I feel like in addition to what this person is doing, you're getting so much hate and so much, and all you're doing, you know, you ain't even, I don't feel like, uh, whether you are or if you aren't interacting I, I uh, with this person, I don't really feel like you are. You still get a lot of hate, a lot of negativity, a lot of, a lot, because this, uh, their person feels uh, this type of way. They just like, I'd rather die before I leave you uh, in my position here or in a position to take uh, from me, my family, uh, any of that here. Okay. What is this? Uh, lovers, Emperor, Justice in Reverse. Yeah, somebody's like, you got to give me every fucking thing. If you want out, you got to give me every fucking thing. Somebody's like, no, I think the fuck not. Uh, I built this shit myself. Like, what, what, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you mean? Somebody tells somebody to kick rocks here. What is this? Lovers, Emperor, Justice in Reverse camera healthy choices yeah i feel like somebody is trying to yep somebody is trying to keep it quiet we got camera um healthy choices and then separation all right so somebody is trying to keep this like uh under wraps they don't want the family to know about it uh none of that all right Somebody is trying to, uh, this hammer, re healing heart, cassette. Yeah, somebody's blackmailing somebody. That's what that moon card is, too. And the snake here. Um, also, this person is dealing with a lot of sabotage. This person is, their person is literally threatening to destroy everything. Their business, their reputation, like, uh, every, everything. Like, the dirtiest, lowest, in addition to using all this Hoodoo, hoodoo, whatever the fuck uh, they doing. Okay. And your person smoking out the window. Yeah, thinking about all this shit. Okay. They constantly get questioned. I feel like they question their person about you, where you're going, uh, what, they're, uh, what they're doing, where they're going. Somebody knows. Somebody just wants to be happy and move on. They're like, no, fuck no. Competition enemy, yeah. Look over your shoulder. Uh, this person probably stalks you, or their person does. All right, or watches you a lot. Okay. Yeah, they're heartbroken. They probably talk to their girlfriends a lot about it. All right. They may even have the well with that three of uh, I saw that three of pentacles. Um, here having their girlfriends thinking of ways to fuck this man up, all of that, like this, yeah, that's why he's saying this bitch, I keep hearing that, like this bitch, yeah, she chasing him here, with this chasing energy here, this is, uh, yeah, <laughs> this is really ugly here, yep, and she mad, she really mad because they're not, he's not fucking her, he doesn't want her, seduction coffin like it's over it's over they're not having sex like nothing like she knows like he wants he's cut everything off and so she really said that uh that was like the most telling sign for her you know i don't even think that is the other bitches that he could possibly be fucking it's you <laughs> like it's it's you and so it's just like he don't want this he don't want to fuck me no more he don't want this like okay so it's like yeah death to you and like she's sending uh they send a death energy to you and your person here like uh period but also they know it's over like that was a telltale sign that this was uh ending here okay the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform the endings new beginnings change liberation here okay uh in the spiritual but i feel like her energy with that devil card and that tower you know what i mean like since your person sent the clear signal like this is over and you know they receive that message it's like nah again this is somebody like everybody gotta go i feel like if he gave her some uh dick or something she may calm down just a little bit just a but since she's not even doing that it's like that's how she knows it's over here I don't know what that was. Yeah, that's it. 
Okay, look, uh, that's what I have for you. Leave, uh, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about this. This is crazy, right? Um, go ahead, like this video for me. All right. Uh, subscribe, stay a while. Leave your video request. If you'd like to leave a love donation and tip, you can do that below. Uh, in the description box, uh, book a personal reading. I'm available. Hey, I love you with the highest love. One.